Wow, I am so stressed. <laughs> what a funny couple of days. Suffice to say, it's, it's medical stuff with my daughter. Diabetes is just having to go up to a hospital, get all the equipment, all the medication, which there is a lot of, and then having to wait for the school to be trained so that she can go back to school. Oh, yeah. Anyway, let, let's not dwell on that. <laughs> I thought, as in my previous video, I, I tried NetBSD. I thought I'd give OpenBSD the same chance. Let's take a look at it, shall we? Okay, so off camera, I had built the USB, stuck it into the machine, got it ready to the prompt. And here's where I'm at. So I'm at the welcome to the OpenBSD AMD 64 7.7 .7 installation. What do I want to do? So let's install, shall we? So a list of uh, keyboards, but I'm guessing UK, US, 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 US. Any UK? Yeah, there we go. We'll have a UK. System name, short form. So we'll just go OpenBSD. Uh, it's going to be EM0. This is more familiar. EM0 is the, the network name, network card name that I would see on FreeBSD. So that's good. Available network interfaces are EM0 and VLAN0. Why VLAN? Interesting. IPv4, autoconf, none. I'm not falling into that trap. NetBSD, you see that? None. Done. Yep, perfect. Uh, root password. Yes. Do I want the X window system? Xeno DM. Yes. And let's set up a and a lowercase name. So we'll go Gary. Rx Tech. Password. Password. Allow root SSH login. Yes. Normally I wouldn't. But just for this, we will. Root is targeted by a password guessing attacks. Yes, we know. What time zone are we in? Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. It's not seeing my SSD. That's really strange. Should be seen. Let's have a look, shall we? What did I think it was? SD. Did you part on here? F disk. Okay. That's an interesting one. That's not something I've seen before. <laughs> okay, why is it not? Yeah, it might be a short one, this. Yeah, that's weird. I wonder if I have to clear the disk first. Which is pretty annoying, but I can do that. Give me a sec. Can tell I'm stressed. I'm not drinking coffee, I'm drinking lemon tea. Right, there we go. Right, we'll do it with disc part then. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So disc six. No, five. Select disc five. Clean. Let's try that. So this disc should now be completely clean. Love these things. These disc caddies are great. I mean, it's possible this disc has died as well, and I seem to be having that issue with discs at the moment. <coughs> Which would be annoying, because it would mean I've only got one SSD left. Yeah, so it's not even seeing it now. Why is that? Well, Smeg's gone on here. I'm sorry, sir. Sorry? Why are you sorry? Well, the Space Corps Directive 195 clearly states that in an emergency power situation, a hologrammatic crew member must lay down his life in order that the living crew members might survive. Yes, but Rimmer Directive 271 states just as clearly, no chance you metal bastard. <laughs> okay, it sees that one, so let's give it another try. I can't actually remember what's on this disc. Uh, UK. Open BSD, EM, autoconf, none, done. Yep, that is lovely. Uh, password for root, yes, 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 GB, 
And why is it only seeing the data, Traveller? Well, that's very good, isn't it? <laughs> I know that disk is working. Let me have a look in the BIOS. It's definitely there. Look, it's there. CT2000. Hard disk. There you go. It's a crucial MX500. Don't need that one, do I? Yeah. Uh, well, that's very strange. Just so that I'm not being daft, let's see what it boots to. No input from me whatsoever. Free BSD. Okay. I think we'll boot to the shell for OpenBSD and just see what's in the D message. Just might have to do a make deb command. This is HD1 and HD0. Shell. Okay. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Dell quiet key keyboard. Anything from quiet. Uh. AHCI mode is more commonly supported by OpenVSD. Pretty sure that's not there. Not really sure why that wasn't on there, to be honest. Let's see. One more try. Come on. I'm rooting for you. Ha ha, root. Yeah, that was poor. Well, that's interesting. It's not showing up at all now. Let's see, shall we? Still not there. SCSI over bulk only. Okay. Right, so this is interesting. It's not showing the other disk at all. So I'm going to go into UEFI legacy support end times day. I wouldn't ordinarily do this. But let's see what happens. Okay. See, it still only sees that one. That's a bit odd. Okay. One last attempt with the original disc, now that it's in AHCO. But my suspicion is, not a chance. I'll put money on it still not being there. <clears throat> well, we'll go back into um, UEFI mode as well, because I would prefer that. Mash those BIOS keys. So that it's there. Yeah, there, there. Let's make sure secure boot is off. Disabled, right, okay. Last, last go. <laughs> Ow. I got further with NetBSD. Just not getting very far with OpenBSD. I mean, I'm not even getting out of the installer. I at least got out of the installer on NetBSD. But that's interesting, now it sees them. Excellent. Encrypt the root disk? No. Yep. Which disk do you wish to initialize or done? 113? Yeah. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> interesting. Let's see where we go. Okay, done. You know. Interesting. Of course, installing is one thing, booting is another, and then getting a graphical interface on it is another thing altogether. Okay. Um, right, so we've done that. Reboot, I guess. See what happens. I need to pull the USB out. <laughs> Blimey, it's taking me half hour to get here. Well, let's see how this goes then, shall we? Move my console back. Thank you. Right, I'll have to zoom in on this, so bear with me. Right, package underscore add XFCE XFCE extras. That's a good sign. Okay. Hmm. You're going to get Vi on this as well, don't you? Yeah. Okay, so we'll do that in a minute then, shall we? I'm going to hit Assume that it's there now. Yes. 
Right. Whoa. Okay, so I get the feeling we've got it all installed. Hmm. So what I can do now, hopefully, yes I can, excellent. So we can move that out away for a minute. Let's see if we can get this finished. All right, so, uh, okay. So I've got the package ad. Yeah, we're cooking with gas here, I think. Hopefully this works. That's all right, don't care. Right, that's a good sign. Let's see what happens. Will it start up or will it not? Oh, wow. So we got a Hoot XFCPE on the desktop. Well, isn't that amazing? Okay, let's quickly add a, a browser. Ooh. -hoo. I mean, that started. Oh, good grief. We're there already. Yeah, um, NetBSD. You see how easy that was compared once I got my uh, <laughs> my disc seen. That was child's play. Well, that's fine, I don't care. Right, quick test. Well, this already is a happy experience. Uh, Gary H Tech. That's me, isn't it? Now, sound. That is a bit choppy. Not gonna lie. That's only 710, uh, 720. I'm not surprised. The processor in this thing is is awful. Awful? Awful. Okay, let's see how we add sound. All right, get you out of the way a minute. Let's have a quick look, see. Terminal, RCC, TL, status, SND, IOD. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let's add them in. Should be pretty up to date. Okay. All right. It's installed. Yeah, I'll leave it there for now. It's up and running. I mean, it's not complete. Definitely not complete, but we will get there. Yeah. I think we'll come back to this at another time. I've got it up and running. That's fantastic. I didn't think I was going to get that far. <laughs> I'd love to see what's in the, the repository. Well, that's not really that helpful, to be honest. Um, hmm. KDE 6 is there. That's impressive. 635. Yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, I think we'll uh, explore that and see how it goes. <laughs> not letting me shut down. That's fine. We'll shut down as root. <laughs> bye bye, OpenBSD. That's encouraging. I gotta say, that is very encouraging. <laughs> this is fall off my desk. <laughs> yeah. I'm quite happy about that, but I'm gonna leave it there. Very encouraged. It should be, now that it's actually up and running, should be easy to play around with. Yeah. NetBSD, looking at you. Should be easier. For any of you that tried to sign up to my forum, apologies, my fault. I didn't set up email, emailing correctly. Should be working now. Try adding your account again if you uh, if you haven't done so. Let me just have a quick look, see. So I don't think, yeah. Yeah, try it again. There was a couple of you that tried to sign up. Apologies, that's, that's my fault. I'm just trying to see if I can no, I can't. That's annoying. No. Okay. Yeah, try signing up again. My bad. I'm going to leave it there. Do you guys use OpenBSD as a desktop or for any other reason? Do drop me a comment and let me know. 
be quite interested to see your take on OpenBSD. I, I, I've used FreeBSD exclusively in the BSD space. That's all I've used. But yeah, drop me a comment. I'd, I'd love to know what's going on. Um, I'm going to leave it there. <coughs> Don't forget to share, subscribe, like. I hate saying that. I've got to stop saying it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Well, that went so much better than NetBSD. They won't listen. Of course they won't. Yeah, they won't even see it. <laughs>